Yo, what up guys? That's the view of the, the hotel that we stay today. It's pretty amazing. You know, we can have all the pyramids just like a few hundred meters just in front of us. And we didn't pay that much, you know, like the tourism boom here in Egypt is getting pretty down. And we pay only $30 for two people to stay in this huge room here. As you see, like they have big beds and stuff. They have TVs, they have air conditioning, have almost everything. We pay $30 and the pyramids is just here in front of us. Guys, we just made it here to the to the pyramids. I hate to be outside because the guys are cheating us all the time. All the time, we just need to be run and try to get the ticket. We pay 120 for the ticket, but we are here now. It's just us. There are a few tourists over there, but if you see here, basically there is no one. There is the Sphinx over there, the most famous one. The, for, the small pyramid over there, the middle one, and the big one. Just walking here in the morning, that one, the Sphinx, head of human, body of a lion, one of the biggest one in the world, they're called monolithics. Have no idea, but yeah, that's the cool one. We're just made in here to the pyramids, getting pretty close now. For the ones who never been here, that's the Pretty impressed with that. Incredible that the little bricks that they told me when I was in the Kire Garden. Oh, in Egypt, you know the guys, the little bricks, and you are not a little brick, I know. <laughs> Look the size of that little brick. I lift it. Bye to the pyramids. Sphinx is here. Pyramids in the back. Now it's time to go to the hotel, take a quick shower, and then go to the student embassy. It was a really good time here. We did some exercise also. But guys, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's so damn cold. The hotel that we stayed last night. Just in front of Mina Inn Hotel. If you guys come to Cairo, just check this place. Uh, be careful. But yeah, that's the name of Mina Inn Pyramids. That's the place. And see you next time, guys. Just stop again by this place. This is the best, best, best food I ever had in Cairo so far, and I love it. And we got just four today. Yesterday we got two, today we got four. And yeah, maybe the trip before Sudan won't make. We won't make. We went to the embassy, and uh, I think it's too hot. And then if we get a bus ride and a train ride all the way to Sudan, it will take us too many times. Like, it will take maybe three to four days. And we are deciding maybe to get a flight to Kenya or Tanzania, whatever. Today is a day just to go outside, take some photos. So I'm exploring a bit of the city of Cairo, especially the area where I'm located here. And yeah, I have no idea what is that. Just going outside, take some photos. So many people here. I got pretty good photos, you know, like the lights are pretty strong now, but even with that, I still can get nice photos. Like, Cairo has a unique identity, you know, that's why I like this. serve anything they just don't talk to you basically and uh, that's the name of the restaurant called Abu Tarek 
just ordered this dish I will try Nicole's famous for the sweets and then I don't know I just ordered it looks like made by rice I will try and let you know the taste but the name of the place is Abu Tarek and they don't have anywhere in, in Cairo only here so basically this is like a pudding made by rice in the style and uh, I really like it I would try it. here at the garbage city of Cairo it's impressive it's really really impressive the smell that makes here is like uh, unbelievable it's, it's good to see that because and say thanks God for the life that I have because people here are really really living in very bad conditions it did really it's, uh, it's, and it's, it's really crazy We were in that corner, we were in that corner with so many kids, but they were jumping on top of a rubbish bags, man. I mean, we would love to do it, but it's dangerous, you know, for... It's really dangerous. that we made here, we are going to the church to see this is one of the most visited uh, Catholic church in the entire Africa and it's incredible because when you come all, all the way here you need to pass by the garbage city and then when you pass by you realize how crazy is that you know? guys this is really impressive you know like uh, I have been a lot of crazy place in my life but this one is just like something it's really hard to explain only if you come here you understand like how people are living in these kind of conditions, you know, like, it's unreal, unreal. I'm here inside of this complex, I met so many guys, like those two guys. Say hello. 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 Okay, and then yeah, we spent a whole a whole afternoon here. We arrived, uh, not the whole, but we arrived here at five o'clock. And now Marcos there teaching soccer to the kids, as you can see here. Pretty cool place. I uh, was impressive, but inside of where you see the car, there is a door there, so there is a soccer field, and a lot of people just playing soccer there. That's really interesting, and uh, I enjoy a lot. You know, like just come here, met so many people, and talk to them, understand more about Egyptian soccer, what's going on here, Mohammed Salah, the the big idol of uh, soccer here in uh, Egypt, pretty amazing. Now we are here in this uh, Catholic complex, I would say, because this is like the biggest uh, Catholic complex in the entire Africa. Just made it here to a Yemen restaurant. I came here like four or five years ago with a friend. This is the restaurant. I don't know, if you go to Google and just type Yemen and you will stop here. And we ordered some food. I remember it was really good. I want to try again. And now I'm with my friend here. And yeah, let's try. One moment we were eating the Egyptian style. And then we heard. I thought that was the guy was next to us was quite to be angry for something. Like he was actually eating the head of the sheep or whatever we eating. Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? Last day here. Let's let's day now. Today, one more day here in Cairo. We finished the video. Hope you guys like that. Peace and love and cool.